All right, you guys. So we've talked about that uh, scissors sweep. And so what people are generally going to start to do from that scissor sweep um, is that they know that the sweep, a lot of it really depends on the position of that leg. And so what they're going to do is they're going to take this hand, because this one's not going to be available because this is their posting hand, right? And they're going to shove that knee down, right? And they, the reason why they're, they're going to do this is they're going to kind of stack into you. They're going to underhook that leg. They're going to lock their hands together or whatever. And they're going to start working on maybe an over-under sweep. They're going to start working on uh, certain passes. So you really, really want to uh, have that angle really strong. But if they do push it down, it's not the end of the world. So. I broke his posture down, I hooked, hooked the back of his head, I'm really strong here. I start to work my hips out, and I get that seat belt. He takes this hand, he's gonna start to push down on my leg. I'm gonna take this hand that's lower, I'm gonna grab his wrist. Okay, from here, I'm going to pull his wrist, that's gonna break his posture down, and I'm gonna hook his armpit. So I'm going around his uh, back and I'm hooking his armpit and I'm connecting him to me just like we did before. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, with us connected as one solid unit, I'm gonna take out that post, my own post, and I'm gonna roll back. He can't post with this other arm, I'm not worried about it anymore. So now that we have become one unit, I start to look this way and I, I'm going to tell you that what I'm doing here is I am not um, opening up my legs as much. They're going to open up as uh, he becomes lighter because as he moves to the other side, he's going to be lighter for me. So I'm actually going to maybe take this heel in, right? And I'm going to start to hip forward, right? I'm moving my body and I'm flattening out. And because I'm flattening out, my body, my hip's not going to allow me to keep that leg low. So he's going to move with me. So I'm not lifting him with this leg, but I'm uh, turning back onto my back and he's going to roll back and a lot of times with this one maybe I'm going to end up in that scarf hold position I might roll through I might go into um, a side control position I might make it into the mount but it's kind of eh, on, on this particular one so so the movement on this one guys is I got this so sweep he breaks down I take his wrist and I pull it pull it across I hook the back of his neck and then I'm going to take this knee as I fall back I'm going to bring it to my nose so I'm bringing it as high up as I possibly can, and I'm with my arm, I'm keeping him connected to that knee. So he gets loaded, and he gets pulled all the way up, and then I start to dig the heel in on the bottom side, drive my hips forward, and that's gonna flatten me out. As it does, it's gonna start to dump him onto this side. Uh, the thing is, like, if I try to go into the mount, I have to throw this leg way over his body, right? Uh, so that is one area that I might get caught in, right? So a lot of times it's gonna be easier to just come up into a side control position. So, again, I make this connection, he breaks this down, I grab his wrist and I keep it down on the ground. I hook his lats, his armpit on the other side, and then I bring my knee to my chin or my nose with him glued to my body. I get rid of all that space, drop back, and then I start to hook in as I flatten my back and he's gonna end up getting uh, rolled onto his back and I can come up usually into that more of a, a side control position. All right, guys? All right, one more and then we'll be done here, okay? Ugh.